We're staff staffing the Asian Art Museum. We we just we just sent a bunch of people out to AT&T Park, so we're working through local too to specifically get Colt Tenroy and people employed in AT&T Park. We work with all the tech community, all the tech companies, Twitter, Zendex, Adobe, Airbnb, Zeus, Spotify, and about six others. So we're you know we get to the point that we're getting people ready. We we're just joining with with Hack Reactor, Cold Ramp on Hack Reactor to get people from zero to 100 as far as coding. And let me just mention, Cold Tenmoin has nothing necessarily to do with cold. Mm -hmm. It makes you makes your ears pick up. But it's also the reason why and we've all been in hospitals and where they where you're on the microphone, cold blue, cold red, or cold green. In the Tenmoin, we're in cold. We're in cold, because we have no jobs. So that's why I call that cold tenmoin. Because we're directly, we're in cold right now. We're in bad shape. So that's the significance of the word cold tenmoin. So um, and Twitter's been wonderful about helping us out. So we're going to continue a long relationship. So let little nobody tell you there's a battle between where you are, it's called south, south of the slot, because the cable car used to run down market. So everyone called that south of the slot, north of the slot. So don't let the newspapers make you think there's a fence going down the slot. It's not. It's not. You all are more than welcome over here any time. And when you're over here, make friends. You, when you, these are just, these people are just regular people. They're brothers and sisters and cousins and mamas and daddies, like any community. Like any community. And this is everyone knows everybody in this community. So when you walk down these streets and you see a guy say, hey there, give me you got a quarter, give me a quarter. He don't want your damn quarter, man. He got more quarters in the pocket than you got. And plus, if you broke, what the hell is a quarter gonna do? If you broke, you ask him for 10 bucks, man. Quarter ain't shit. So what he wants is for you to speak to him. He just wants you to speak to him. Just say, hey man, how you doing? I don't have a quarter right now, but you have a good day, bro. By the third time you put walk past, hey, that's my buddy from Twitter. Watch, try it. Watch it. Watch, I guarantee it'll work. And now you got a friend. Who knows when you may need him? One of those dark, blurry nights. You know what I'm saying? But he just wants a friend. You're walking through his bedroom, dude. If you was walking through my bedroom, I would expect you to say hi, kiss my ass, or something. <laughs> so, dude, you're walking through that bedroom. You know, if I was jogging through your neighborhood, never been in your neighborhood, I'm jogging through your neighborhood and you was cutting your grass, I was, hey man, you know, wouldn't we? This is just people in, you know, you see all these people hanging out and think, oh, this is all drug deals. No, it's not. These little ass apartments they got, which is no bigger than about this piece of plywood, the whole, the whole room upstairs. After about 20 minutes, that sucker gets real small. So what do you do? You come out, because there's no window in those rooms. The windows you see are just 10% of, of the rooms. 90% of the rooms have no window. So you sit in the square this big, you have no cable, you, the, 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 the gravity ears don't work, FM don't work, you sit there with an AM radio, after about 20 minutes that room is done. You only sleep in that room. So what do you do? You come out to your front yard. Where's your front yard? The sidewalk we just walked on. So we're walking past people in their front yard or their backyard, so don't trip. And I don't care what happens down here, their people will always be there until they come up with a front yard or backyard for these places. And we know that's not gonna happen. So you gotta understand, what do you think, what do you think, and I'm gonna I'm roll because we gotta roll. What do you think the percentage of people in your community, out of 10 people, how many people are addicted to drugs and alcohol in your community? Two. Two, two. How many people in your community from 10 people? How many people in 10 people are addicted to drugs and alcohol? Uh, out of 10 people? One. One, okay. In the Tenderloin, how many people are addicted to drugs and alcohol? Residents? No, just people in the Tenderloin. Uh, 2.8. Hmm. Ain't much difference, is it? 2.8. The rest of the people out here are just sick, uh, retired, got thrown out of their house, bad divorce, because there's bad divorce. There is no good divorce. Bad divorce. Uh, just got out of the service, mentally ill. Um, my mama kicked him out, the husband kicked him out, got a bad problem at home, got a drug problem at home, or got a domestic violence problem at home, and just it's better safer out here. So there's there's there, there's there's seven point eight reasons people out here other than drugs and alcohol. Or seven point three, whatever the math is. So just keep that in mind, every one you meet is not a drug or alcoholic or, or a prostitute or bum. You know, there's some great people. So really great people out here. And as you start to get into the community, you'll meet them, you'll meet them. But anyone got any questions, we're gonna start walking back. Is there any hesitation until next year high school? 
we don't have anywhere near enough mental health assistance. Uh, we can cure a lot of our situations here we're able to do. We just don't have that. It's, 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 that's the people that silly off. City Hall, City Hall. You know, we, we just don't have that. And that's a big thing they need to address sooner or later. Uh, and they're going to have to address it because we're going to be looking at <coughs> 10 years from now unless we do something instead of yada, yada, yada. And as a homeless commission, I sit on these commissions and media, and that's all it is yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. Just some bureaucrats talking. They have no idea how to change it. They have no idea. It's almost like they don't want to. Yada, 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 yada. So, we're going to add before we go. So, the whole point of this was for you to learn the issues of this neighborhood. And um, it's really simple for us to get back and to get involved. Um, we have the neighbor nest, as you guys know. We have all of these opportunities that you saw available and you can go volunteer. And even if you do once a month, half hour or one hour, that's enough. Uh, you have coat tenderloin, um, you have all of the information and go volunteer. And I'm gonna start volunteering with them next yes, week. Yes. Coming here and just talking to people and like reviewing their resume, having like a little conversation about interviews, um, giving them advice from my perspective. And that's enough. And that's more than more than enough for them. It's what they need. It's like that, that little push that they need to overcome their problems. So I encourage you all to get involved. Um, to participate in Pride It For Good, like do little things to start and then you're gonna start falling in love with this kind of opportunities and spreading the word around Twitter. So. And all the information's on the back.